David Day, Vicksburg Daily News here with Warren County Sheriff Martin Pace. We had a high-speed chase happen today. What details can you tell the citizens? Well, it started out uh, just after 3 o'clock. Uh, Vicksburg Warren 911 received uh, several calls of a small maroon vehicle driving at an extremely high rate of speed and very recklessly on Highway 27. Uh, the vehicle then turned west on Clay Street. Uh, 911 uh, had multiple calls from citizens uh, reporting the same thing on Clay Street. Very high rate of speed, in and out of traffic, deliberately driving on the wrong side of the road. Uh, the vehicle apparently turned uh, back on the interstate for a period of time and got on 61 North. Uh, as it came back south on 61 North, uh, it, in, uh, it was meeting multiple vehicles and in the wrong lane of traffic. It was deliberately traveling south in the northbound lane. Uh, one of those vehicles was Jerry Briggs, our county fire coordinator in his fire chief's vehicle. Uh, shortly after that, uh, Warren County Deputy uh, Patrick Brown uh, engaged this individual uh, just north of Warren Central uh, with lights and siren on and the individual veered over into Deputy Brown's lane. He had to leave the road to avoid a head-on collision. Uh, Several other deputies became involved and at one point completely uh, lost the vehicle uh, at, at the rate of speed that he was going. Uh, Vicksburg police officer actually located the vehicle parked in, uh, in the bushes uh, in the 3900 block of Wisconsin Avenue. This, as he was responding to a call of a suspicious person, there was a 911 call that came into the police department about an individual knocking on doors and it turned out it, it was our driver. Uh, we have a, a white male in custody. Uh, we don't know who he is at this point. He's refusing to give us any information. There was Alabama tags on the vehicle. Uh, we fingerprinted him and run him through our automatic fingerprint identification system in an attempt to identify him. Uh, he's currently in the jail without any benefit of bond under a John Doe charged with felony evasion. Uh, we're going to have the district attorney review some of the dash cam video and probably have some additional charges added uh, to this individual tomorrow. Uh, we also noted that he had significant damage to the front of his vehicle, but we've received no reports. Uh, 911 has not received any reports of a hit and run accident involving this vehicle. So uh, we're not sure what he hit or where prior to uh, engaging with law enforcement. And so would you encourage people to call if they have damage? that they think maybe oh well, part of obviously this. I mean for this or any other situation I mean if there's a vehicle crash or a hit and run we obviously would like for people to call 911 so we can document and report it uh, we feel like he has hit something recently the damage looks like fresh damage uh, but again we we cannot uh, connect that with any known hit and run accident that has been reported thank goodness someone was injured no one was injured the uh, the public uh, you know, was was very good about reporting this individual. We were getting a play-by-play -play from 911 calls prior to uh, law enforcement uh, engaging this individual. But he very very dangerous, apparently intentionally endangering uh, the public. But uh, he's in Warren County Jail at this time. Very good, Warren County Sheriff Martin Pace. Thank you for all that you do for Vicksburg Daily News. David Day reporting.